hey guys welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a little bit of grilling so we got a couple uh products to review today while we're doing that and one of them is this oven gloves which are basically supposed to protect you from the heat uh so they're best for barbecue and cooking and grilling it says so the other thing that we're going to be looking at is i got a brush to clean the grill so this is one of those more fancy kind of brushes oh look at that it came with a little spreading tool thing yes that's what it looks like guys a huge brush so we're gonna clean the grill and then cook with these gloves is the idea all right let's fire this thing oh man and this is what i'm talking about we need to clean it up so this girl is really old and uh, yeah, it probably it's time for it to retire, but it's one of those portable ones where you can take with you anywhere. Anyways, we're gonna fire her up, let her warm up, and we're gonna try to clean it up here. All right guys, so the girl is fired up, warming up here a little bit. So let me show you my old brush here. Um, it came out of a kit from that box, but as you can see, these uh, bristles here are so soft. They're I think made out of like copper or something, but they're very soft, they just don't do anything get the big stuff off all right guys so now that most of the big stuff is off let's see if we can use this brush oh yeah that feels so much better and they're not bending over like the other one did right away this is actually really nice look at that That works really good. Finally, a brush that works. I love how you can just turn it anywhere you want it. And it does a really good job, see? Actually, I'm really impressed, guys. That's a really good brush. Now look at that. The bristles haven't bent or anything. They look perfect. And there's nothing really jammed in there either. What we're cooking today is actually lamb. And I got it marinated. And it might seem weird to you guys, some of you, but this is onions and vinegar. And it's got salt in there too. So you'll marinate this for a few hours before you cook it. That's actually really good. If any any of you guys like lamb, this is a really good way to marinate. So I'm gonna throw this on there, on the grill with a fork. And then we're gonna use those gloves and see how good they work. All right, so Marky's helping me here a little bit. So I'm gonna put all these pieces of meat on the grill. Marcus, does this look delicious? Yes, but <laughs> it's heavy. Okay, hold on, give me one second. I'm gonna put one more piece on there. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it up with this deliciousness. So all the meat is on the grill and uh, we're gonna give it some time to cook, I'll leave it alone. Um, go ahead and unpackage those gloves and uh, see how they fit. Okay, so the gloves are out of the box. And uh, they feel very, I guess they're silicone, so they feel pretty good. I mean, just like a silicone feel, but they're pretty thin. Uh, you can see me squishing this thing. It's not, you know, thick or anything. Kind of like a little bit surprised that they would hold. I think they say 450 degrees somewhere. Maybe not on here. I think I read it on the uh, online. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put it on here. I guess I'm just gonna use one glove today. Okay, that's actually not a bad size. It's a little bit big, but it's not huge. It's actually pretty controllable. All right, guys. So let's see if we can actually uh, move the meat around. So it's pretty hot in there right now. Let's see if any of this things are ready. Oh, they're not ready yet. So this might not be the ideal thing for these gloves, but it's working. I'm able to kind of pick things up. Obviously, I don't have the precision control like I would with maybe tools for this specific job. But, you know, this is not bad if you needed to get into the heat with your hand. And I don't feel nothing at the moment yet. And I'm touching the, uh, the actual grill, so. 
so it's not too bad. There we go, we got it all flipped over. Yeah, so they seem to be working pretty good. Um, obviously, this will be better for like maybe grilling corn or grilling bigger things that you can grab easier, I guess. That would be hard to use uh, utensils, but easier to use your hand. So I'm actually pretty impressed. They're pretty nice overall. I guess they're made by Blistec, uh, which I know makes really good knives because I got a few, couple of them. I think the lamb is done now. And as you can see, that looks pretty good. It's nice and delicious looking. So we're just going to grab these pieces and we're going to put them in this bowl here. All right, so I'm going to do a little experiment here. I don't know if it's smart, but I'm just going to lay my hand on the grill. I know this is very hot right now, so. Okay, yeah, I can kind of feel something, but nothing, honestly, too bad. Just getting warmer. So, yeah, it's just kind of getting warm, the whole glow. But I'm not getting burnt, so. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's go wash this thing, see how easily it washes. All right, I'm by the water hose, and I'm just gonna rinse it off. See if it'll rinse. Obviously, I'm probably gonna need to use a little soap. All right, guys, so these are the Bliss Tech silicone gloves, which will be good for a bunch of cooking and who knows what else. I can totally see this being useful to some people. If you bake a lot or, you know, you need to get your hands into something really hot, maybe even boiling water this should technically uh, uh, you should be able to go in pretty quick and out without no issues whatsoever a pretty thumbs up for these gloves and uh, this brush is also awesome guys so if you want to uh, get any of these two I'll leave links in the description they're both from Amazon if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more videos subscribe I do product reviews on this channel and other things thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one peace